Okay, so we're here live at Genesee Valley. We have a girls matchup between Genesee Valley and Jasper Troopsburg. We're getting ready for the national anthem right now. Okay, so that was the national anthem, and we are just ready to get started. Here are the announcements. From Jasper Troopsburg Wildcats, number two, Allison Hayes. Number four, Kaylee McCaffrey. Number five, That was Brian Landry's doing our introductions for tonight's game. The team's breaking out of their huddle, just getting ready for the game. JT has their little small huddle over to the left, and then Genesee Valley has a little bit of a huddle to the right.
Both teams getting ready for the tip off. The tip goes to Genesee Valley's Kara Landry's. Kara takes it down for a very fast basket. JT is running the floor. Number 22 to number five to number four on the post. She dribbles that out. Number 22. To number 12, travel violation. Kara Landry's brings it up the floor. Kara to Halley. Halley to Bailey. Bailey takes a nice three, just off. Bailey has one foul. That's Bailey Bennett with her first foul, team's first. Number two brings it up the court. Number two takes a nice drive. Dishes it off to number four. Doesn't go. Number five gets the rebound. Looks like it went out of bounds there. It's going to be Jasper Troopsburg ball, ball underneath. Number 12 takes the inbounds. She looks, gets a pass to number four and gets a foul. That's Mackenzie Bennett's first foul, team's second. And number four for Jasper Schuster will take two free throws. She sings the first one. And misses the second one. Genesee Valley players just let it go out there. Smart play. Kira Landry's brings it up the court. Kara back to Hal. Hal to Ariana Gordon. To Kara Landry's. Landry's takes a nice shot from the corner. Number two for the Wildcats brings it up the floor. She takes a nice drive. She gets all the way. Mackenzie Bennett has a nice block there. Number four gets the rebound. Comes up, comes up with a shot, doesn't go in. Landry's brings it up the floor. Looks like she got followed there, no call. To Bailey, to Mackenzie. Mackenzie misses the layup, gets her own rebound, makes another layup. <laughs> Number two for the Wildcats. Number two to five, five in the post. 22 makes a nice cut, goes reverse layup, and she gets it. Landry's to Weinman. Weinman takes it in for a nice layup. Number two for the Wildcats, brings up the floor again. Goes number 12 to number two. Number 22 for the Wildcats. Back to 12 to two. 22 mishandles the ball. Landry's and 22 race after the ball. Looks like there's gonna be a deflection. It's gonna stay white ball. It's gonna become white ball. Excuse me. Weinman for the inbound. Goes to Mackenzie Bennett. Mackenzie Bennett misses the misses the layup, but she will get fouled. And she'll shoot two. Number two for the Wildcats. That's her first, team's first. First one goes. Second one done as well, does as well. Number two. She gets a screen from 22. Two to 12, but she couldn't handle the ball. 
Landry's with the ball. Landry's to Weinman. Weinman to Bennett. Bennett to Kara. Doesn't work. Tries the three. It's number two. Runs a flash. Number two to 22. She takes a three. Little off there. Kara Landry's gets the rebound. She's running the floor. Dishes to Mackenzie Bennett. Misses the layup. She was a little under the basket. Kara Landry steals the ball. She's all alone. To Landry's, to Ariana Gordon. Gordon misses a shot. Wildcats get the rebound. Twenty-two to four, four to five, in the post. Number two takes a shot mid-range, doesn't go. Number four gets the rebound, gets the layup. Landry brings it up the court to Weinman, to Bailey Bennett, back to Weinman, to Ariana Gordon. Gordon takes a shot, so she's gonna get shot, fouled before the shot. That's going to be number four's first foul. Team suck it. Gordon comes out for Marsh. Mackenzie Marsh into the game. Allie Weinman to Karen Landers. Landers takes a nice drive. Misses the layup, though. 22 runs a fast break. She pulls out. Number two to number five. Has a nice, has a nice mid-range in the paint. Carol Landry's to Bailey Bennett. Thinks about shooting, doesn't. Passes to her own sister, Mackenzie Bennett. 22, takes a two. Dribbles in. It's 12 to seven here with about three minutes and 20 seconds left. Landry thinks about shooting. Passes to McKenzie, then to Bailey. Bailey takes a three, and that falls. Number two for the Wildcats. Two to 22. 22 takes a drive. She gets blocked by McKenzie Bennett. McKenzie goes to Kara. Kara goes to Halley. Looks like there was a travel there. I think she just tried to stop herself, and not enough time. Kara puts on a one man fast, I mean, one man, never mind. Number five, number 12, takes the three, air balls. Bailey Bennett with the rebound to Weinman. Weinman to Mackenzie Bennett, back to Weinman, back to Bailey Bennett, back to Weinman. Weinman goes across court to Kara Landry. Kara dishes to Marsh. Marsh, I think, was expecting was expecting some contact. Didn't get it. Anna Gordon comes back in the game from Kendra Marsh. Number two. Looks like it was a jump ball. It's gonna stay in the Wildcats possession. Scores 15 to nine with two minutes and 15 seconds left to go. Number five takes a shot. Looks like it was a little bit of contested there. Number 12 gets a rebound, passes to 22. Looks like there's an injury on the floor. Number five, she gets up and Seems to be fine. Walking it off to Landry's. Landry's just pulls up and shoots. That's off. Number four gets the rebound to number two. Number two to 22. 22 to five. Five back to two, to 22. Nice two, mid-range two. 
Landry's. To Bailey. To Hallie. To Anna. To Caroline. Garrett tries to take a mid-range jumper. Misses. Number two gets a rebound. Number two to 22. She takes a one dribble pass to 12. 12 to five. Five misses. Mackenzie Marsh gets a rebound. Kara Landry's waits for the players to clear out. Landry's to Bennett. Bennett back to Landry's. Landry's to Marsh. Marsh to Gordon. Gordon gets blocked. Number four makes a nice save to 22. 22 to 12. 12 back to 22. Number four. Number five. No good. Number four, again, shoots it. Doesn't work. Mackenzie Marsh gets the rebound. Goes to Bailey. Bailey to Hallie. Hallie back to Bailey. Looks like she got a little bit of a contact there. No call. 15 to 13 with 15 seconds left to go in the first. Two makes a nice dribble drive. Goes to 12. Back to 12. Back to two. 22 sinks to mid range. Kara Landry tries for the buzzer beater. Scores all tied up here at the end of the first, 15-15. And that wraps it up for the first quarter anyways. Okay, so start of the second quarter here. Score is all tied if you're just joining us. Genesee Valley ball. Landry brings it up the court. To Bailey. Bailey to Anna. Anna looks for a pass, gets to Halley. Weinman to ba Bennett. Bennett looks, Bennett gets to her sister. And Bailey Bennett finishes. Twenty-two to four, four to twenty-three. Anna Gordon comes. To Landry's. Landry's to Bailey. Bailey Bennett passes back to Kara. Bailey shoots it. Number 22 runs the floor. Gets to number 12. Oh, I'm sorry, number 14. Number 22 tries that mid range again. Kara Landry's gets the rebound. Kara's going to run the floor. She gets her layup. She tries to steal it, doesn't work out. Number two to 22, back to two, 14, 12, I mean two. 22, tries to go to 23, looks like there's gonna be a kicking violation. Okay, so I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this, but I have a cameraman that I've spent a lot of time with. He's actually my dad. So props to him for the camera.
Okay, it looks like there was some type of churn over there by JT Wildcats. Um, <laughs> Carol Landry's comes up. This is his, yeah, this is his first time being behind the camera. Okay, so while we were talking there, Hallie Weinman assisted on McKenney Be Mackenzie Bennett's bucket. 14 sets of screen. 22. Bailey Bennett makes a nice pass to Kara. Kara finishes on a layup. Genesee Valley just went to 3 2 zone. Okay, so I guess, according to my dad, that since Jasper Tuesburg was shooting very well, Genesee Valley has went to a 3 2 zone. 22 to 2. 2 takes a 3. Air balls. Yeah, making them, making them shoot longer. Because they like those, they like those mid-range in there. So it looks like they're having them push out just a step to go to the three-point line. Zone, you just expand your zone out a little bit. Maddie Herdman comes in. Bailey Bennett goes to Maddie. Maddie mishandles the ball. Looks like they've switched back to a 2-3. At least it looks like a 2-3. Number two to 22 to 14 to two. Two back to 22. Yep, they switched back. Mackenzie Bennett with a steal. Yeah, I guess they have to I guess we have to call timeouts for the ball. Five minutes left in the second quarter. Number 20, no, sorry. Genesee Valley has 23 points. Jasper Troopsburg has 15. Jasper Troopsburg hasn't scored in this quarter yet. Maddie Herdman to Anna. Bailey to Kara, Kara tries to go to McKenzie. Turnover. Number two, number 22, 23, 23 to two, two to 22. 22 takes that mid range just off the front of the rim. Bailey Bennett gets the rebound. Um, Kara Landry's, Bailey Bennett to Maddie. She takes a shot, mid range, in and out. Mackenzie Bennett gets the rebound and she, and she gets the bucket. 25 to 15. Number two with the ball, number 22, 23, 22, 22. Looks like JT's coach is furious with the way that his players are playing right now. Twenty-five to fifteen. Genesee Valley is in the lead. Three minutes and fifty-seven seconds left to go in the first half. It's gonna be Jasper Troopsburg ball on the side. To number two to fourteen. Two back to fourteen. Fourteen to twenty-three. She takes a three. Oh, sorry, that's a two. 
That's JT's first bucket of the quarter. Kara to Anna. Gordon to Bennett. To Weinman, to Marsh. Marsh looks, finds Kara. Landry's to Hallie. Hallie shoots. That's off. Number two gets the rebound. Two to 22. 22 back to two. Two to 14. 14 to 23. To five. That's off. Gordon gets the rebound. Gordon to Landry's. Landry's to Bennett. To Weinman. Back to Bennett. Bennett draws a foul on number two. Number 12 and number four come in the game for number 23 of the Wildcats and 14 of the Wildcats. That's number two's second foul. Team's first. Bailey hit, tries to hit a three, doesn't work out. Weinman gets the rebound. Landry's to Bennett to Weinman. Back to Bennett. Bennett into Gordon. Gordon looks. To Landry's. Landry's to Weinman. She takes a three. In and out. Number four gets a rebound to number two. Number two tries to go to number 12. Looks like number 12 wasn't expecting it. It's caught her by surprise there. Landry's to Weinman. Weinman back to Kara. Kara spins and tries to get the layup, doesn't work. Number 22. To 12. To five. Four takes a shot. Swish. Landry's to Gordon. Gordon gets blocked. 14 to 12 to 22 to 14. Back to 12. Back to 22. 22 to 14. 14 takes a mid range. She misses. 14 gets her own rebound. To 22. She takes a three. Off the front of the rim. Number four gets a rebound. 12. Shoots, misses. Bennett gets the rebound to Weinman. Weinman finds Kara. Deflected by number 22. It looks like they were trying to get the ball to Anna Gordon there. And Jenny Savelli calls the timeout. It looks like the Wildcats called the timeout, not Genesee Valley. Number 22, that's why they got the ball. Number four to number 14. 14 takes a drive off on the shot. White ball. Looks like Genesee Valley came out with a little bit of a zone press there after the timeout. Landry's to Bailey. Bailey to Hallie. To Gordon. Gordon to Landry's, Landry's to Marsh. Marsh to Landry's. Landry's to Hallie. She takes a nice mid range. Looks like it's a 2 3 full court. Yep, 2 3 full court. Last 20 seconds of the half. 
Number 22 takes that mid-range. She loves that mid-range. That's what shooters do. They find a spot and they stay there. Landry's a marsh. They hit like 3-3 three, three already. To Bailey. It looks like it was Bailey to Marsh, then Marsh to Gordon. And Gordon tried to shoot, and looks like she got a little bit of contact. Um, Landry's goes up for the buzzer beater, and she gets fouled. She will shoot two shots. That falls on number 14. That's her first, team's second. Landry's is off on the first. Well, Landry's is off on the second as well. And so that's going to wrap it up for the first half. Um, 27 or 21, Genesee Valley in the lead. Um, Okay, so it's halftime right now, and we'll be back for the start of the third quarter.
we're back here at the start of the third quarter. Got about a minute left of warm-ups. Both teams are out. They're warming up. Um, we got some music playing here at halftime. It is 21 to 27. Genesee Valley is leading over the JT Wildcats. Um, some people down on the crowd told me that people in Syracuse are listening in. Um, Carson George, he's listening from Syracuse. So shout out to my man. Thanks for watching us. We appreciate it. Twenty seconds till the game resumes. Music stopped. They're getting ready to um, come out and hopefully put some pressure and do some good stuff in the second half. Wildcats will start off with the ball. Landry's with some pressure. Number two with the ball. Two to four. Looks like there's a problem with the shot clock. The shot clock wasn't going with the clock. Okay, so now that we're in a little bit of a break, just going to tune you in for the New York Knicks. They are losing at halftime just by one point to the Washington Wizards. And they're doing pretty good. Kishas Porzingis is leading him with 14 points. All right, so let's get back to our Genesee Valley game. 22 with the ball to two. She takes a deep three. Air balls, long, surprisingly. Bennett gets the rebound. Weinman brings it up to four. Weinman to Bennett, Bennett to Landry's. Landry's takes the three. Landry's is off, Bennett gets the rebound. And she hits a close range shot. Landry's with some solo man pressure. Looks like they're in that 3-2 or the 2-3. Looks like Kelly Weinman has her first foul, I think, I believe. Um, number five is going to the line. That's an and one. Yep, that is Hallie's first foul. Um, number five will go to the line for one. And she misses wide. Bennett with the rebound. Weinman brings it up the floor. Weinman to Bennett. Bennett back to Weinman. Weinman steps in. Looks like she was taking... It looks like she's tried to take a shot, but she was in the middle between passing and shooting, so she didn't know which one to do. Landry's with pressure again. Landry's with pressure on the shot. That's a two, a deep contested. Can't really stop those. Landry's to Bennett. Mackenzie Bennett will go to the line for two. So 
So, Dad, um, we've been watching the game for almost a quarter, two, a half and a, almost two quarters and a half. Sorry. And how do you think that we're that we're doing here in the game? I think we went at Spurs on top. At one point, we played great basketball. The next minute, seemed like we just got lost their concentration and just let too many easy basket in. Especially we fall asleep our perimeter, let them shoot too many three. Especially number two, 22. She's a good shooter. You gotta put somebody on it at all time. Okay, so while we were in the talking break, uh, Mackenzie Bennett, I think she made one, missed the other, and well, what did she do? Well, anyways, um, down on the other s side of the floor, Mackenzie Bennett had her third foul, team's second. Gordon to Weinman. Weinman goes in, gets the foul. She's going to the line for two. Good cut by Weinman and good five by uh, Arena Anna Gordon. Weinman's first free throw goes. Score is 31-26 with 5.56 left in the third period. That was number 12's first foul, team second. Halley's free throw misses. Landry's with some pressure. Matru with a drive, kicks to 12. Five to four. There's a little bit of a scramble there for the ball. There's more problems with the shot clock. Looks like they're going to have the ball underneath. Just retreats for Wild Bird, Wildcats. Number four with a shot, doesn't go. Number 22 gets a rebound, doesn't go. Uh, Gordon with the rebound, goes to Weinman. Weinman tries to go to Bailey Bennett. The pass was just off a little bit. JT with the ball. Number 22 takes it in. Looks like that's a foul on one of the Bennett. Looks like Bailey got the foul there. Bailey Bennett, that's her second. Team's third. Looks like she was going up for that. So now number 22 will get two free throws. First one does not go. Makes the, f makes the second. Weinman with the ball, goes to Landry's. Landry spins, gets blocked. Gordon gets the rebound, goes up, misses. It looked like Bailey was going to get called for yet another foul, but it was a clean block and it was a jump ball. Landry brings it up the court. To Weinman. To Bailey. Looks like Gordon was surprised by the ball just being there. Bailey is the place safe now. 
She's got two and her sister has three. Hallie Weidman takes it coast to coast and she gets her layup. Kara with pressure. 22 with the ball. Looks like Jenny Savelli is in a 3-2. It looks like Bailey had that deflection there and it just nicked off the JT Wildcats number 12. She comes out of the game, number 14 for the Wildcats, enters the game. Landry's to Bennett. Bennett back to Landry's. To Weinman, to Landry's. Bennett looks, nothing. Kara to Hallie. Mackenzie Bennett. Gets a bit of a hack there. She still follows through on the shot and she makes it. So if you're just joining us midway through the third period, Genesee Valley win is winning 35 to 27. Um, she misses that one free throw. 14, scrambles for the ball. Fourteen takes a wild three. Bennett gets the rebound. Weidman takes the drive, takes it all the way. She gets a foul, almost goes in, doesn't quite. Number fourteen, that's her second team's fourth. One more, and we'll be in the bonus. And when I say we. Me and my dad, Hallie Weinman, sings the first free throw. Me and my dad are from Genesee Valley, so we're kind of biased here. So whenever we say we, we apologize for you JT fans that are just couldn't make it to the game and watch. Um, so there's a timeout by Genesee Valley. Um, the score is 37 to 27. Tennessee Valley leads with three and a half minutes left to go in the third quarter. Jenny Sir Valley comes out of the huddle, so does JT. It'll be Wildcats ball. Number 22 brings out the court. To two, back to 22. Number 14. Some passing between JT. Good ball movement. Looks like there's going to be a foul by Hallie Weinman. That is the team's fourth, her second. And that was a shooting foul, so number five from Wildcats will get two free throws. First one is off. She sinks the second free throw. 
to Weinman. They're running a little bit of a fast break here. Weinman slows down. Looks for Bailey. She gets her. Goes to Megan. She can't handle the pass. Mishandled by number five for the JT Wildcats. It'll return to Jenny Savelli's ball. A little bit of a press breaker here by Jenny Savelli. Megan thinks about going to Bailey. She's a little late on the pass. Number 22 turns it over looking for number 14. Mackenzie Bennett comes in for Megan Hand, which I forgot to announce that she came in the game. Bailey to Halley. Halley to Mackenzie Bennett. Mackenzie looks. Looks and finds her sister, Bailey Bennett, for a nice assist to a great layup and a great cut. Kara with a steal. And she makes that layup. 41 to 28 with about two minutes left in the third quarter. Number 22 to 14. 14 takes a shot. Mackenzie Bennett with a rebound. Hallie Weinman starts a fast break. Hallie takes it from coast to coast except for she dishes off to Bailey Bennett with a flashy pass and a flashy assist. Mackenzie Bennett with the bucket and Hallie Weinman with the flashy assist. Timeout, full timeout by Jasper Chewsburg Wildcats. And it is 43 to 28 with a minute and 41 seconds left in the third quarter. And, and Jenny C. Valley seems to be going on a little bit of a run here. Hopefully I didn't just jinx them. But hopefully we can keep this run going and continue it in the fourth quarter to accelerate accelerate our lead. JT and Jenny Savelli come out of the huddle. Number 22 brings up the ball. Maddie Herdman is in for the game. Number two swings it over to number four. Back to number two. JT, good ball movement here. Number two drives, kicks to 14. Goes for the bank, doesn't get it. Number two gets the rebound. Number 22 shoots a three. No good. Anna Gordon gets the rebound. She dishes to Hallie Weinman. Hallie pushes the floor. Hallie sees Bailey open. Bailey back to Hallie. Hallie shoots, no good. Off the front. Less than a minute left in the third quarter. Maddie and Bailey come together there to cut off the lane. That's a mid-range jumper by number 22. She has had more points outside than probably any player on the floor right now. Hallie tries to go to Maddie. Just under 30 seconds left. Number two to 22. 22 to two. She takes her dribble, goes to 14. 14 back to two. Mackenzie Bennett steals. Looks like Genesee Valley wants to get the last shot. Traveling violation by Anna Gordon. 
Number two gets the ball. Pushes the floor trying to get the last shot. And they do get the last shot. Just doesn't go in. That is the end of the third period. Forty-three to thirty. Jenny Sea Valley is leading. Um Testing, testing, all right. Just want to make sure that we're in for the fourth quarter. Could be exciting. So there's a 13 point deficit after three quarters of play. It's going to be Jenny Valley ball. Bailey Bennett will take the inbound and Carol Landry's will be taking the Taking the pass, I guess. Yeah, taking the pass. Landry's to Hallie. To Bailey. To McKenzie. Then dishes it off to Anna Gordon. Anna Gordon gets the bucket. Landry's with the pressure. Some ball movement by little JT Wildcats. Number 22 takes that bend range. Gets nothing but air this time. Haley Weinman takes the inbound. Landry's carrying up the ball. Landry's back to Weinman. Weinman to Gordon. That's a nice find by Haley. Just short, Weinman to Landry's. Landry's takes a drive. Finds Mackenzie Bennett. Mackenzie Bennett looks like she just hooked the defender off. Caught it with her right hand and she just went up. Landry's with pressure. She gets the steal. Takes one dribble. Misses the, misses the layup. Mackenzie Bennett got the rebound there. And she tried to get it back to Kara to shoot, but that pass got intercepted. Ball moving by JT to get to number four for her mid-range shot. There's gonna be a foul on number 14 for the JT Wildcats. That's her third team's first. So I had to take a little bit of a water break, sorry. Um, looks like Bailey Bennett turned the ball over on the offensive side of the basketball. And then number 12 had to turn over for JT. And now Carol Landry's has the ball. Landry's the lineman. Lineman to Bailey. She shoots it. She makes it. It is a two. Landry's with pressure. They're in that 3-2 that they practice all the time. Number 22 takes a dribble. Goes in. Mackenzie Bennett gets the rebound. Weinman pushes. Weinman slices through the defense. Finds Anna Gordon. She goes up, hits the back of the backboard. Bailey gets the rebound. Passes the Kara. Kara misses. Mackenzie Bennett with the steal. Then dishes to Weinman. Landry's. Bennett. To Landry's, to Weinman. 
Gordon turns, takes a shot from about the free throw line, and she makes it a 21 point deficit. Langes with pressure. Ball movement by JT. Number 12 takes a dribble in and shoots. Number 14 gets the offensive rebound. Tries for the shot, doesn't work. Weinman with the Weinman with the pass to Kara to Bailey. Bailey tries for the three, doesn't work out. Number 22 gets the rebound and comes down the floor. To 14, back to 22. To 12, tries to get into number five, doesn't work. Bailey gets the ball to Weinman. Weinman to Mackenzie Bennett. Mackenzie finishes. Landry's with the pressure. GT coach calls timeout. That's a full timeout by JT Wildcats. Um, there's a timeout here early in the fourth, kind of mid. Um, 53 to 30. Um, Jenny is doing a pretty good job of scoring here and pretty good job of not letting them score. Um, what are your comments on the game so far? Well, so far so good. They're coming out strong in the second half. I'd like to step some of the past game when we come out a little flat in the second half. Um, so let's hopefully keep this energy up, 23 point, with, uh, with they do have good shooters, so we got to protect their front, uh, uh, up front. Don't let them shoot the three and just one shot and done. Don't keep them the second and third shot. So it looks like <clears throat> we have two substitutes, Maddie Herdman and Kennedy North set up horn. Number 12. Looks like Hale and Anna came out. Number 10 shoots a three. Maddie gets the rebound, but her toes are on the line. And North set up horn and Herdman came in for Weinman and Gordon. Two with the three. Number 10 gets a rebound, shoots, misses. McKenzie gets a rebound, goes to Landry's. Landry's to Bennett. Bennett to McKenzie. Who then cuts and give and go for Bailey to score. Number two with a dribble. Bailey steals it, gives it to Kara. Kara runs down the floor and she makes her layup. Number two with a drive. Ball movement by JT. Swings it. Number 10 takes a shot. She hits from mid range. Landry brings the ball to Bennett, to Mackenzie Bennett. Landry's finds Herdman to North Septuport. Bailey to Mackenzie. Back to Bailey. Bailey takes a three. In and out. Number two takes the ball down the floor. Turn Turnover by number two. 10 for the JT Wildcats. It looks like Megan Hand is coming in for Mackenzie Bennett. And I think Mackenzie, Mackenzie Bennett, Mackenzie Marsh, Anna Gordon, and Haley Weinman are pretty much done for the game. I think they're going to save them for next game. Um, hand to Norset that point, to Bailey. She tries for the three, doesn't work.
Defensive rebound for JT. Number 10 to 23. Number two takes a shot off. Looks like number 23 got the offensive rebound, just her foot was out of bounds. Um, uh, must be Gordon and Weinman aren't done for the game. They just came back in for Landry's and Mackenzie Bennett to Gordon, to Hand. Hand takes a shot, she makes it. And it looks like she shot it with her right hand and she's left-handed. So. Gordon gets the defensive rebound to Weinman. Weinman waits for the, for the half court to clear. To Herdman. Herdman to hand. Hand to North South the Porn. North South the Porn to Herdman. Herdman tries to pass, doesn't work. Herdman gets the ball. Weinman's cutting, hand cuts. She gets the ball and she banks it in. That's her second bucket of the game and she's only been in for about two, three minutes. Looks like there's a foul on Hallie Weinman. I think that's her third, yep it is. Team's first. I think that the game's pretty much over. I mean, a lot of people say that anything can happen in 30 seconds of your life. But the way that they're playing, the way that Genesee Valley is playing, and the way that they're just coming out with so much energy in the second half, it's going to be very hard for JT to come back. A jump ball. Scramble for the ball. Haley Weinman with the steal. Haley Weinman escaping from the defenders. Sir Herdman. To Norris at top horn. To Gordon. To Hand. It's another jump ball. This time it will stay in Genesee Valley's possession. Hand looks for a person to pass to. Looks like number two got the steal. She was just out of bounds. 8.2 seconds left in the game. Oh, it looks like there was a push on Megan Hand. Her first, team second. And looks like JT got a bucket at the end there. 61 to 34, the game ends. Um, fourth quarter. Um, that's basically it. Okay, so I'm here ending off the game. Um, Genesee Valley. Genesee Valley scored 61 points in this match. Um, JT scored 34. It was very like, very unlikely for them to come back in the fourth quarter. Um, it was a good game, good sportsmanship. Um, it was very fun to watch. It was very fun to see lots of buckets. Um, yeah, Genesee Valley, they were tied at the end of the first and they came out from the second half. And hopefully this momentum that we have in the last couple of games, we can keep going and play even better throughout the rest of their season. So that's it and good night.